Good morning, y'all. It's Tuesday, February 13th, 2024. Currently 1.45 p.m. Been up for a few hours, kind of warmed up for the day. And as I was working out, I came up with this, you know, a great quote because I realized a lot of people are being controlled. Show me bring it back down. They think it's a game right now. Yeah. But it ain't the same right now. No my name right now. Yeah. Back where I came from now. I realize a lot of people are being controlled and they think that they are tough. They think that they have like this, you know, mental strength or some kind of form of wisdom. And so I came up with this wise quote. As a tough man might say, they have balls. Every man has balls. But who's using the balls? So uh, pretty much when you break it down, it's like some people have balls. Their boss has them by the balls. They're in debt. Their bank has them by the balls. They're alcoholics. The beer has them by the balls. You get what I'm saying? So, you know, uh, every man has balls, but it's about who's using them. So if I'm using my balls, nobody has me by the ball, then I'm good. Some people, production companies have them by the ball. I hope that quote goes down as some of the wisest stuff in history because it truly is. Normally I would be, you know, in the studio making music, getting stuff prepared on the you know, aspect of the music. Today we're kind of falling short on cover art. We don't have a lot of cover art built up in my computer. So if you can tell where this thing is headed, you have to get some cover art prepared for these songs that I got building up in my hard drive. When I say songs, I'm not talking one or two or three songs. I'm not talking 36. I'm talking about five songs. So as far as cover art goes, some would say I'm ahead where I'm supposed to be. I'm behind as shit. We're back here on the Photoshop. I'm gonna show you guys how I make my cover art, I guess. Here I got some, uh, some templates, but I'm gonna create a whole new template. Just make this 3,000 by 3,000. You're putting it on Spotify, you're putting it on, uh, SoundCloud, you're putting it on YouTube, you're putting it on iTunes, all those stuff. This is going to be the standard size of photo you want to use. I know people hate getting into technicalities and stuff like that, but kind of have to. All right, so speaking of getting into technicality, you're also going to want to shoot. You're going to want to shoot in CR2. Go into your camera settings. You hit the menu. Go into your settings. Change it. Don't, don't do JPEG or JPG or PNG. Choose RAW. So when I drag one in here, let's say I drag this one in, the first thing I do is I get the white balance tool and I select the whitest part of the picture. That just literally color corrected everything so that it, I hit okay. So bam, once you got it open in Photoshop, just wanna stretch it. Like I said, since I'm cutting the subject out, I'm just gonna go up here to this tool and this is the quick selection tool is what it's called. You might have to right click, it might be on this one, but you right click and do quick selection tool. Select your subject. And so you see uh, over here we have, you know, some more selected. Up here we have more selected than we actually need to. Just hold alt on your keyboard and uh, that might be, I think that's option or command on a Mac. I think it's option. Hold alt or option on if you're on Mac and just, just click and drag some of the objects that you want to deselect. You might have a situation where the subject creates kind of this hole. You want to do the same thing. You want to hold alt or option on the keyboard and go in here, deselect it. Easy as cake. Now you're not going to get it perfect. You know, use your tools, zoom in, at least give it a, a try, at least try to do as best as possible. And once you get it selected, control C, which is copy, Go to a new layer, come down here, make a new layer, and then control V on your keyboard. And we've done this before. Now you can add layer style and uh, I can stroke myself. I could say that that's the cover art, but we're going to actually do some unique shit with this. This is just showing you what we can do with this now. We don't need that background image. We can go ahead and delete that. So as you can see, I have like a few parts that stick out over here. Just like I said, come, with, come in with the eraser and just smoothing it out. We're going to up the size of the eraser and I just pressed the parenthesis on the keyboard. I'll put it up on the screen. You can change the size with those two parenthesis things. We're going to up the size, kind of fade, gets into the, uh, the bottom here. We're going to go until you cannot see a sharp line there at the bottom anymore. All right, so that looks pretty good. Create a new layer.
We're going to turn up the turbulence a little bit. If you're wondering how I created this uh, spline here, you go to the pen tool, make points. Edit these points by holding alt and, uh, and just dragging them. Click and then you hold down, you click and hold and drag. So let's say you want to like, let's say you want this to be straight now. You're like, wow, oh, why isn't this going straight? I want this to be straight. Just drag this towards the, I am going to drag around the subject. We're going to go back and do the same thing. We're going to go in, but this time we're going to produce a layer under, under the subject. All right, this thing looks awesome. Mine's just a little bit too big, so I'm going to shrink it down and pull it down so it can match up with the subject a little bit better. I'm going to take this layer, hold control and hit U or command and U to blue. And this one, now we kind of have this. Next thing we want to do, take our subject stroke, and we are actually going to stroke it white. So now it sort of looks like this. Just add a solid color in the back, make it black. We're going to go up here, create a new layer. It doesn't matter where. We're going to put clouds in that new layer. Put it above the black layer. I don't really like this color, so we're going to control U. So the whole style that I'm going for here, sketch up like indie, fuck the industry type of look. I'm going to show you guys a little trick here and choose the, uh, the blue color here. Go over the stroke of your subject. Change the blending mode to overlay and turn down the opacity. Come in here to your subject, inner glow color again, turn down the opacity. Turn up the size on the cloud layer, control, shift, and X. On Mac, that's command, shift, and X. And we got the liquify tool. Some deformities in the clouds in the background. So we merge this with the background. We now have a unique background image. We need something to give this background a little more life. It doesn't really match with the background much kind of have him poking out like this. Want to hit control U again, turn the saturation all the way down. Go to adjustments and bring a gradient map onto that character. And this one looks good, but if you're wondering where I got that, you go into the gradients here, you go to blues, but find one that fits with your cover art. So merge it. Wow. Okay, that's night and day. But I'm gonna merge these layers. The filter blur, motion blur, bring that up. And now, if we turn these ones off, we have kind of this. You almost don't want them to even know what the hell this thing is. That's good enough. We're looking kind of sexy, right? I'm gonna bring some text in. So uh, type down, bring the size up. We're gonna type as the on a separate layer. And then down way here at the bottom, down is the hero. Go ahead and bring these all the way to the top. You don't wanna have these underneath the flames. I don't really like the font. All right, so now that you have the text all set up, you're like, Ben, it kind of blends in with the background. Is there any way we can fix that? Absolutely, that's what we got drop shadows for. So just add a drop shadow to that. As you can see, it already looks that much. But also, we're going to go in here and we're going to add a gradient overlay. And this already looks phenomenal. So this already looks pretty good, but I want to bring this gray down a little bit. You kind of want it to uh, add a shine effect to your text. So bring the opacity down to 20. Set the blend mode to normal. You can copy these settings. Kind of adds a little bit of a shine. But now we can right click on this. We can copy the layer style. We want to hit the down. We want to right click on down and just paste that layer style. Admittedly, um, I didn't really like the font as much, so I changed it to this one. We're almost done here. We just need to come in here to the ASD and change that as well. We're gonna add a gradient overlay. In here, take this gray, change it down a little bit. I like that there, that looks great. Just throw the parental advisory sticker on there. And right there, you've made your own. Uh, no need to copy one from Google. So anyways, if you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I, you know, 
showed you something new, showed you how to do something useful. Uh, share my profile, do, do what you gotta do, get it out there to people because people need stuff like this. Just finished the old cover art, of course it turned out freaking phenomenal. About to save this file, go grab some food and see what the hell happens. Sorry about my dog barking in the background. If you guys want more tutorials like that, let me know. I mean, that's, that's pretty easy. I could just fit that right into my vlog. But for those of you who found value in that, please leave a like, a share, dude. Don't be a fucking bitch. Eating some Greek yogurt right now. It's pretty damn good. As you can see, there's a lot to do here in the kitchen, so I'm gonna zoom through it like that. Uh, well, it's gonna look like that to the camera, realistically. We're gonna do some work. So I know today we haven't spent much time in the studio doing some Photoshop and stuff like that, but we gotta take the dogs out here. My outlook on females rather send Gmails My sound books on retail, don't forget T-Tail My money coming feet tail, that's how I prevail Shoot for the moon, we land a muscle stars When my tongue coming soon, you see the fancy cars And you know how I do, you know I'm going far When my tongue coming soon, you see the fancy cars Cause you'll never see what you meant to me my destiny, you are my melody. I'm still so hyped we got Sony Vegas working. I cannot believe we got Sony Vegas working. I was thinking, dude, there's no way I'm ever going to be able to start my YouTube channel again. I'm going to go my whole life. I'm never going to be able to use these programs. I learned how to use them. Overall, though, the more tools you can have in your arsenal as an artist, the best uh, chance you have at being seen. Her name's Stella. This is Stella here. And this one here, this one here is Simba. Um, I know you guys haven't met these puppers yet. They're pretty much just big old balls of love. It never gets old playing with Well, she walked out. She's done with that shit. But yeah, I think I did enough in this video. I'm going to start to edit it. It's 5 o'clock. Throw some, some of these videos over on my computer from the SD card. I didn't get to editing this video. Dude, I'm again, I'm so grateful that Sony Vegas started working again. That all being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You know what to do. Peace out, everybody. It's a cold red, cold red, all of these flows there So fed up with the bullshit hoes, man If you don't care, then don't ask There is way too many fake ones Guess I'ma have to just go and replace them I hate to do it, but nothing here truly could save